People have asked me how I do this hairstyle, so I'm finally filming it. I use a wide tooth comb, like you see here, to comb out my hair, and that makes sure that I don't pull any hair out. So I get all the tangles out at first, and then I use uh, this pick that has these little metal parts, and I separate out my bangs. So when it's wet, it's a little harder to see that, but eventually I figure out where all the little pieces are, and I'm going to use this pick with the metal picks in it for the rest of my wet hair styling. Then I'm going to use this L'Oreal Nature's Therapy Mega Strength Blow Dry Cream. I only need a small amount. I really love this stuff. Only about, what is that, a half a teaspoon? I spread it between my fingers and get it through all of my hair. Now I'm ready to dry. This one has, this dryer has heat settings here, so hot, warm, and cool. I peak, I'm going to keep it on hot. And then it has two fan settings, high and low, and then it has a cool shot. So when I am have the dryer close to my scalp and it starts to get a little hot, I can just press the button and it'll cool it down. With the temperature on hot and the fan on high, I'm going to use this round brush. And first, I'm just going to dry the hair that's above my neck because that's just going to stay really wet if I don't do this. And I'd rather get that part dry to start with. I only take about a minute or a minute and a half total to do this. And I can touch it with my hand and make sure it's dry enough for me. And the brush is really helpful. Now I'm pulling out one of my tricks. This is my bag of clips. Now, I'm not a professional hairstylist, obviously, and I cannot dry my hair like my stylist, so I section my hair off. And now I'm using that comb with the, the metal um, picks on it, and I'm sectioning my hair starting right behind the bang and then just going back bit by bit along... Um, just that back section. So I'm taking a section that feels right to me. I've been doing this for several years. So you can see about how big those sections are. And I'm not gonna go all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to get close though, because the, the bottom section doesn't need a clip. But I'm gonna get fairly close. And this is the last one I'm doing down the back. Now, I'm going to do two clips on the left and two clips on the right, but not all the way to the front toward my face, just sort of mid side of the head to the back. So I'm doing one there and then I'm going to do one below it. And then I'll do exactly the same thing on the right side of my head. This is how my hair looks when all the clips are in. And now I'm ready to dry it. And I'm going to use the hair dryer on the hottest setting for temperature and on the low fan. I'm starting with all the hair in the back that's long and I'm just starting with a flip. And I'm going to do it section by section. They're basically three sections for me back there. They don't take very long to dry. And the flips are not going to be perfectly flipped here, and that's okay because later I'm going to use a curling iron. Oh yes, I'm one of those people who still uses a curling iron, and I have to if I want my hairstyle to stay all day. But that's okay. I deal with it. So, like I said, this doesn't take very long, and now I'm ready, well, I'm setting the towel down. <laughs> so that I can put my dryer on it so it doesn't fall. And I'm starting with the first section here that you see I took a clip out and I'm going to use the round brush underneath first and get the hair that's closest to the head just to get some body and some volume right there. And after that has been under the dryer for a little bit, I'm going to pull the brush out and do a flip with the bottom part of the hair. And here we go. 
And so I'm just going to twist that around a few times with the dryer and then I'm done with that section. I have a nice little flip. There we go. Now I'm going to do the, take out the clip above it. Now this section of hair is not as long and because my hair is layered. So I'm not going to do the flip at the bottom. I'm just doing what you see here with the brush under the hair and flipping it around, drying it kind of sort of like my hairstylist does. Um, pulling it up and down as long as it's not catching. And this brush is nice, it doesn't catch. And after I do that section, I'm going to do the same thing with the two clips of hair on the right side of my head. Now I'm going to dry the hair that's on both sides of my face. First, I'm going to create a section and clip it off that's at the top left next to my face. Then I'm going to take the section of hair that's below that. And I decided earlier that I'm not going to do the flip up on this section. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So today I'm not. And I'm just going to use the dryer to get as much volume as I can. It doesn't take too long to dry this section because there isn't much hair there. Then I'll do the top section in the same way. This has a little more hair than the one below it and I'll dry next to uh, the scalp as much as possible, maybe pressing this cool shot and then flipping it over and turning that around in the brush every now and then just to uh, keep it going till it's dry. Then after that, I'm gonna do the same two sections on the right side of my head. Now I'm going to dry my bangs and I'm just going to run my fingers through it and dry it just a little haphazardly. Now my bangs are on the short side here. When my bangs are longer, I'll sometimes I'll use the round brush just to get some height and keep the hair out of my eyes, but I also trim my own bangs. <laughs> so now I'm ready to start with some of these back sections. So I'm gonna start the lower one and that one's also going to have the flip. So I go ahead and do the flip. So, and there's the flip. So now I'm going to get to the next section. Now um, I only keep doing the flip as long at the base of the hair, bottom of the hair, as long as it's just as long as the hair at the shoulder length. Once I start get doing a section of hair that's shorter than that, I don't do the flip at the bottom. So I always start like I show here with the brush under to try to get as much volume. And here I am flipping up the bottom with the brush and getting that part done in a flip style. And there's my flip. And then I'm gonna do the section and the crown. This one is not as long as that. So I'm just going to dry that going over under. Now you would think that the two last sections I have would not be all that wet because they've been waiting the longest to dry but they are the wettest and they take the longest they're all they also seem to be the thickest which i guess is a good thing so that's the last two sections i'm doing here so yeah these take the longest and this is where my arms get the most exercise and I always touch it to make sure it's really dry, especially these two, because a lot of times they're still a little bit damp and I need to go over it again with the hair dryer. So here we are with the last one. Okay, last one. I like to dry right at the root with this one. And the other side. And here we go, getting the last bit up and down and then I'm going to check that it's dry and if it is yay turn off that hair dryer and then I want to show you a bit of what it looks like and yeah it looks like it's perfect and ready to go but my hair will not last like this if I don't curl it with a curling iron yep I'm one of those people this is a Jill Beer Conier Professional 
I think it's one and a quarter inches, but I'll link in the description box below what kind it is. And he has an on off button and a heat setting. I put it on about 11 and yeah, <laughs> these are great. Then I'm using just a rat tail comb and <laughs> I have a brush that needs to be cleaned by Jerome Alexander. I think I got this at um, Ulta years ago. And I'm back to using the clips. This time with the clips, I'm going to start with the crown of my head and the rat tail comb comes in really handy for this using that pointed rat tail end. So I, you know, I can't see what I'm doing when I'm doing this really. I can only see from the front, but I try to grab a section that's not too big and not too small. That's just right and grab a clip and put it in there. Then I'm going to clip down the back, similar to how I did when the hair was wet. And let's see, one, two, let's see, this is the third one, and maybe that's all I'm gonna do. Okay, then I'm gonna put two on the top of my head before the bang. And again, not too thick and not too thin. This is where I want to get some really nice hair sections, get some good curl. Then I'm going to do two clips on the left and two on the right, just like I did before, one above and one below, and leaving the longest section just hanging there because I'm going to curl that first. And after that left side, I'm going to do the right side just the same. And I thought I took this out of the video and I didn't. So one on the top and then one below. And now I'm ready to curl it. And I use Curling Iron Texturizer by John Amico, but I'm gonna show you the clips first all around my head. Isn't that lovely? Oh boy. Anyway, Curling Iron Texturizer, that's my big secret. I buy a big bottle and a refill and I put it in this smaller bottle that I bought from Sally and I just spray it on and it works wonders with a curling iron. And I put a few sprays in here, I comb it through, and then I'm going to start curling in the flip with my heated up curling iron. And you know, I do the best I can with the flip without seeing what I'm doing. And after I do about three sections, this being section one, then two, then three, I'll look at it in a mirror just to see how it looks. Because a lot of times there'll just be a section that didn't quite get curled properly. Or sometimes it's cockeyed and off to the side. Or sometimes part of it gets curled well and another part doesn't. It's weird. So here I've just done two sections. Now I'm going to do the third one. I don't do the part around my face yet. This is just from about the ear back. And there we go. And now I'm going to pick up my mirror and look and see if, eh, I think there's one part I saw here that I didn't really like. It wasn't, it was just kind of lazy looking. So um, sometimes I spray it again, sometimes I don't. So here I'm just spraying it one more time and not even using the comb, but just putting the curling iron in it and going ahead and giving it one more one more curl and then taking it out and I'll probably look at it in the mirror again and then I'm probably good to go. So now I'm going to do the left side where I have the clip. Now this section it's going to get two sprays and a comb through to get that CIT curling iron texturizer distributed. Now see, I'm putting the curling iron above it first and then I'm flipping the curling iron in my hair to do, in my hand I mean, to do the flip at the bottom. The thing is, I like to get it close to my scalp, close to the root of the hair to 
get as much volume as possible. So two sprays, put the comb through, pick up the curling iron, get it close to the scalp. Now this one's not getting the flip. This one's just gonna be over like so. Then I did the same to the right side. So now I'm ready to start tackling the back. This section gets two sprays and a comb through. And I'm starting with the curling iron close to the roots and going over. And then I'm gonna flip the curling iron in my hand and do a flip up. So this section is longer. Hold it for a few seconds. And that's about six or seven seconds. And now I'm ready to do the one above it. And I'm just gonna do it in fast motion here because you've seen this already. So a couple sprays, a comb, and then the curling iron. And this one is not long enough, so it's just gonna go over. I do almost all of them until two are left on the top of my head. Now I'm ready to do the hair close to my face. So I do a clip on the top section on the left side of my face. Then I'm getting ready to do this part below it, two sprays. These are even like half sprays. They're not even full sprays. A comb through, and I'm just gonna need a couple seconds on this. I'm doing this one under and let go. See, because there isn't much hair there. That's all it takes. Then doing the section above it and a couple sprays after I move it on my face and comb it through and then start the curling iron close to my head and doing a quick flip under and then I'm going to do the right side in the same way. This time I decided to do one little section of bang that was looking awfully flat but usually I don't do my bangs at all. Now I'm ready for these last two sections and these I leave in the curling iron for a good 10 seconds. They still both get two sprays of curling iron texturizer and of course combing it through and then the curling iron, I'm just curling it back and holding it for about 10 seconds because I want this to be really nice and curly and stay. And then the very last one, yay couple sprays. I'm always glad when this last one is being done. I bet you are too. <laughs> and then a curl back. Hold it for about 10 seconds and then pull it out. And now what I'm going to do is let it cool by pulling out the curling iron. I'm going to put all the clips back in the bag. And after I put the clips away, I'll also put the curling iron texturizer away. And by then my hair should be sufficiently cool, but I don't want to brush through it yet. First, I want to use my hands because I don't want the brush breaking my hair, pulling it out. So I just run my fingers through first and then I'll get ready to take a brush to it. And yeah, it looks nice. So the thing is, it's not gonna stay that way. That's why my hair is. So it's gonna need a little help. First, I like to check it in the mirror. And yeah, looks pretty good. But I need to tease my hair. Yeah, back combing. Now I've got my rat tail comb and I'm gonna do a little bit of back combing just to make sure it's going to stay. Yep, that's what I do. And obviously I'm two or three, two weeks away about from getting my hair highlighted again. Oh, you can really tell that it's needing it. And then I use this pick. I love this pick. This is what I use instead of a brush at this point. And first I face the mirror and I do the hair that I can see. And then I get out my little mirror so I can do the back because it looks like a rat's nest until I pick it down and I just smooth it into place the way I want it. Sometimes I also put it behind my ears, but today I'm not going to do that. And then it's going to be ready for some spray. 
The hairspray I use is Matrix Favoum. I thought they stopped making this because I didn't find it on Ulta's shelf anymore, but when I went on Ulta online, they had it and I called and the guy said, you know what, Matrix got so much feedback from customers saying don't get rid of this so they're bringing it back. I don't know. I can stand the smell and I like the hold. And then another one I have, it's a little more stinky, but it's interesting. It's Redken Quick Tease 15. So it can give the look of hair that's been teased without teasing. So I might just spray a little bit of this on in the back, but that one really smells like hairspray. Otherwise, I just use the Matrix. This one smells okay. And then I do have a few seconds where I can, um, you know, use the mirror. I don't want to do it without looking um, to put some hair in place or move it around. And I really like that. So that's it. That's how I do this hairstyle. I know it might seem kind of long for some of you, but for those of you who like me, don't have a lot of hair and have fine hair, just getting a routine down is of small sacrifice. Thanks for watching and check out some of my other videos. Click the little I in the upper right hand corner or one of the two images on the right side of the screen. I also show how I do my updo. I appreciate your time. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Bye.